Hi friends, welcome to Moscow CBSE YouTube channel. If you are watching our channel for the first time, please do subscribe our channel and click the bell icon so that you will not miss any of our new videos. Hi, this is Kritikesh for more score CBSE. Let us see about living things and non-living things part 1. In simple terms, living things are the one that has life. Non-living things do not have life, but living things depend on non-living things for their life. There are various characteristics for living things. First one is living things move. We humans and animals move around from one place to another in search of food and shelter. Plants are also living things, but they do not move. Instead, they prepare their own food through photosynthesis process. Second major characteristic is living things eat air, water. Living things take in oxygen from the atmosphere. Water is the major proportion in all the living Water is present around us in the rivers, lakes, ponds, and sea. Living things get food from nature. Food is converted into nutrients that gives energy to the body. Next, how food is prepared by green plants? Most of the plants around us are in green color. Green color of the plant is due to presence of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll in plants uses light from sun, carbon dioxide from atmosphere, water from the soil to prepare their own food through the process called photosynthesis. Next, interesting question. What happens during day and night in plants? During day, there is sunlight, so the plant takes in carbon dioxide and release oxygen through photosynthesis. But in night, there is no sunlight, so plants take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. This is called a respiration process. Next, how do non-green plants grow? There are some algae, fungi which do not contain chlorophyll. Hence, they cannot prepare their own food. Instead, they depend on other plants, animals, dead organisms for the food. This table shows the basic difference between autotrophs and heterotrophs. Autotrophs are green plants. Heterotrophs are non-green plants. Autotrophs contain chlorophyll hence they prepare their own food. Examples are all green plants. Heterotrophs do not contain chlorophyll and hence depend on other plants, animals for their food. Examples fungi, mushrooms, molds, etc. Next, major characteristic, living things grow and change. The basic life process of living things is they grow and change in their height, size, shape, color and finally die. In most of the plants, seed first germinate, then becomes a sapling, small shrub, then to a tree. It gives us flowers, fruit and leaves and finally die. We both animal and humans are born as babies. Tend to a kid, adult, reproduce, and finally die. Next, characteristic living things are made up of cells. Cells are basic building blocks of all living things. Cells provide structure for the body. They take in nutrients from food and convert them to energy. Cells are so small, they can be viewed only under microscope. Microscope is an instrument that contains lens. It magnifies the Depending on the number of cells, organisms are divided into unicellular and multicellular. Examples for unicellular organism are amoeba. Example for multicellular organism is humans. Human body is made up of millions of cells of different types. Example RBC, it carries blood to all parts of the body. WBC, it provides immunity to our body. We came to end of session. So in this video, we have seen major characteristics of living things such as living thing move, living thing need food, air, water, living thing grow and change. Living thing are made up of cells. In part 2, we shall see 
other major characteristic of living thing if you like this video please give a thumbs up share with your friends and subscribe more sports cbse for more such